Those lights right here is from the agitation test. Wash, final spin to cycle complete indicator. the one with the inside washing machine and I'm gonna turn the dial all the way back to give me a second this might take a little while yeah start And yeah, the clutch can only test the tub easily to make sure agitator motor is connected to the tub before it spins. So this spin test is going to be a high spin. So if you're trying to if you're trying with a lid open, please don't try this at home. It can already be a bit shaky. Now let's just stop it. This washer does take a while to stop spinning because you know it's a modern washers. No rough bearing noise whatsoever. And yeah, some other people say modern washer sucks. Yep, it's damaging my fingers and that hurts. All right, let's just unlock the lid so I don't want to ruin the lid switch. There, right here. My damage of the finger is the lid attach. Not good. It's okay. I'm still gonna be okay. So yeah. So here's the one with the lid lock, and the one with the lid close on a spin. There we go. It's a little bit of shaky right here, which is not very violent at all. So, washing final spin of the spin test. So, let's just stop it and wait for the tub to be stop spinning until we can unlock it, and it'll be it for the video. If you see the one with the blank indicator, that means that's the lid lock test.
So no one relay clicks. So if we wait for the relay to be clicking, then we'll be free to unlock the lid anytime. And of course, washer is made by Whirlpool sometime, which is mismatch. And of course, that's the Kenmore 600 series dryer, which is I'll give you a review in the next video. Alright, now it's fine. Alright, that should be it. So I'm gonna hold this one to cancel. Alright, catch you next video on the cycle video. Thanks for watching.